From bushfires to habitat loss, our koalas face some big challenges. But here in Port Stephens, there's some hope in the form of a very special sanctuary. Hello, buddy. The newly built Port Stephens Koala Sanctuary is on a mission to create a safe environment and home for koalas in need. Ross, it's absolutely beautiful out here. How big is the property? It's pretty special, isn't it? They take theirs. OK, so how many koalas are we going to find? You'll go to see at least nine. Oh, really? Yes. So I'm guaranteed? Absolutely. There's one right up there. Oh, oh my goodness, that's amazing! Spotting koalas here is a sure thing, with the tree canopy housing an ever-growing community of koalas. Well, Ross, you said there'd be koalas, and they're everywhere. Mm. These guys behind us, tell us about them. OK, we've got Joni and Isla behind us. They're two of the females that we have here in the sanctuary. Isla came here because she was in the Mambo Wetlands fire in 2018, and she has damage to her paws and pads. Oh. Now, the Port Seven koala population, it was pretty large. It's dropped in numbers? Well, it's believed that 30 years ago there were over 3,000 koalas in Port Stephens. Now the numbers are estimated to be between 200 to 400, so it's quite a big drop. Yeah, it's, that's tragic. Yeah, habitat loss, unfortunately. The elevated skywalk is a wonderful way to get amongst the koalas. Koalas being up boreal creatures living up in the trees, we wanted to get the people up into the trees with them as well, so they'll be more on koala eye level. And being eye to eye with these special animals is simply unforgettable. Emily, you're here from the Central Coast with your sisters. What have you learnt today? I learnt that baby koalas stay with their mums for three years. What's so good about the sanctuary? Just how close you can get to the koalas. Yeah, it's pretty cool. On the sanctuary story walk, you'll learn about this uniquely Australian animal as you wander along a series of giant koalas. As well as being educational, the walk has a strong message of conservation. Habitat loss is the biggest threat facing koalas, and what that means is that koalas come in contact with our human habitation in a way they're not designed for. So, for instance, a fence is an unnatural barrier for a koala. So obviously, some of the metal fences are things that koala can't climb, so a rope over the fence will help them climb out of your backyard. Also, if they're in your backyard and you've got a dog, you need to take the dog away, probably not even just inside your house, take it to another property, and then call the koala rescue services in your area to come and rescue that koala from your backyard. Injured koalas who arrive at the sanctuary are treated at the dedicated koala hospital. And while visitors can only watch on through the viewing window, today I'm having a behind the scenes tour. Don, I can't believe I'm this close to a wild koala. Yeah, he's Kai. He's uh, not always that happy about being around people, though. He came in in January, so it's been a lot of months now, and he had a fungal infection called cryptococcus, and it was uh, causing his whole head to swell, and it can uh, eat away at their facial bones. It's quite a nasty disease. And that's the beauty of the sanctuary, is that we've got somewhere to keep a long-term treatment. Previously, it was very difficult to treat a koala long-term, because they get very stressed being in a, in a care environment, but we've got these big open areas where we can keep coming them and getting them back again. They can stay in for, for months. Don and the team do an incredible job and it's heartwarming to watch them at work. Here at the sanctuary, it's all about the full immersion. So at the end of the day, if you don't want to leave, you don't have to. The deluxe glamping tents are a real treat, featuring all the creature comforts you'd expect and then some. In every tent, there are complimentary brekkie hampers and local foodie treats and your own private deck to enjoy them on. There's really no need to leave this sanctuary. But if you do venture out, this beachside cafe is well worth the trip. Crest Barubi Beach in nearby Anna Bay has pride of place overlooking one of the region's best beaches. Well, this is an amazing spot, Sarah. Barubi Beach, all the way to Newcastle. All the way, all 32 kilometres right down to Stockton. So, Sarah, I believe Barubi is an, a local Indigenous word? Yes, Barubi means Southern Cross in the local Waramai language because when you look out here at night, we're looking straight up at the beautiful Southern Cross. And there's more local love on the menu. Those oysters were shucked about an hour ago, so they don't get any fresher. The food. Whoa. And the views at Crest are well worth savouring. Oh, that's so fresh and delicious. And the Port Stephens koalas are more than worth saving. And I reckon that view is pretty priceless too. 
Experience luxury in the wildlife because we're giving away a two-night glamping stay at Port Stephens Koala Sanctuary. For all the info, head to our Facebook page and good luck.